defending your religious freedom. Here is Dr. Chaps. The Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals has ruled against a member of the Satanic Temple who said that a Missouri abortion law somehow violated her satanic religious beliefs. Christiannews.net reports, true story. The Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals has ruled against a Satanic Temple member who challenged a Missouri regulation that required abortion-minded mothers to uh, must obtain an informational booklet and an ultrasound prior to proceeding with the murder of their unborn child 72 hours later. So the court upheld the law and forced the satanic abortion seeker to rethink her abortion and get consent and an ultrasound of her child. The woman had asserted that the informed consent and waiting period laws violated her religious beliefs as her quote, body is inviolable and subject to her will alone, end quote. Not God's will, but her will. That is one of the supreme tenets of Satanism is do what thou wilt. Anton LaVey himself created that tenet. But the woman who only identified herself as Judy Doe filed this lawsuit way back in 2018 took a couple years to bubble up to the Eighth Circuit who rejected her appeal, asserting that the, quote, tissue was part of her body and she alone, this is her argument, has the right to decide what to do about her pregnancy. And the scientific fact that an umbilical cord makes human tissue part of a woman's body, end quote. Well, she quotes science, so maybe she's, a you know, science-minded Satan worshiper. Uh, but then she says, the umbilical cord is part of her body. Well, okay, uh, don't they sever the umbilical cord upon birth? Eventually it's, you know, there's a separating of her body from someone else's body. Maybe she didn't consider all that. But according to Courthouse News, her attorney, James McNaughton, stated in an interview the following, quote, the state has no business telling people what to believe. The state has no business telling us that life begins at conception. We can decide that for ourselves, end quote. And therefore, it was a religious belief that was being violated. Her satanic, satanic beliefs require her to kill the child. Well, the pamphlet provided to abortion-minded mothers, the pro-life pamphlet states the following, quote, the life of each human being begins at conception. Abortion will terminate the life of a separate, unique, living human being. This is what the government pamphlet says. The probable anatomical and physiological characteristics of the unborn child at two week gestational increments, end quote. So clearly this is a pro-life Missouri law requiring scientific information about when life begins be provided to this abortion seeker. The court upheld the state law. The court rejected the Satanist who didn't wanna be reminded of all this. The Missouri Family Policy Council who helped defend the law is stated to be behind the statute with the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services creating the booklet. But the woman, the Satan worshiper, claimed that the brochure violated the establishment clause of the US Constitution because the government is creating a religion, she argued. Saying, quote, it fosters an excessive entanglement between the state of Missouri and adherence to the religious belief that a human tissue is based on a unique human being from conception whose destruction is morally wrong. The plaintiff has been and will be irreparably injured by that violation because the state's views are forced upon her with the intent and purpose to cause her guilt for believing for and not believing the Missouri tenets, end quote. And that's the news. Our thanks to christiannews.net for that report. Let's take a moment and discern the spirits. Inside of this woman, by her own admission, are demonic spirits 
that cause her to believe, according to her religion, Satanism, that she should not only have the free will to kill a child, but that that child is not separate from her because there's an umbilical cord between her body and, and the child, that she therefore has a moral right, not only to kill the child, which by the way, she was never prevented from getting an abortion. She probably did have an abortion. The story doesn't say it's Judy Doe. We don't know her name. We don't know how this turned out. Probably pretty bad for the child. And yet, when you follow the prince of darkness who his goal is death, to steal, kill, and destroy, as Jesus said, don't you think someone's gonna be stolen, somebody's gonna be killed, someone's gonna be destroyed? Who is that other person being stolen, killed, and destroyed by the devil? It's the innocent child. Jesus talked about this when Jesus warned us in John chapter eight. The Bible says this, you are of your father the devil and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning. It does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources for he is a liar and the father of it. Let's pray about this, would you pray with me? Father in heaven, we pray against the spirit of Satan, which is admittedly inside of this woman, is now manifesting not her own will, but the will of the father of lies the will of the prince of darkness, the will of Satan himself, who is a murderer and has been a murderer from the beginning, according to Jesus, who rebukes the devil. And Father, we join Jesus, we rebuke the devil, and we pray that you will continue to bless courts around America to rule in a way that preserves and protects innocent human life. We pray this blessing in Jesus' name, amen. Take action today. Dr. Chaps needs you to sign an important online petition. Today, I wanna to invite you to sign a critical petition to defend innocent babies and to end abortion in America. On this show, we like to pray and petition God, but we also need you to take action today by petitioning Congress to stop the taxpayer-funded child killing, especially by defunding Planned Parenthood, America's number one abortion provider. Why are your taxes paying to murder innocent children in the womb? Well, if Congress would simply define personhood as life beginning at conception, we can reverse Roe versus Wade. Please join me today by signing this important petition to Congress. Visit PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org and sign your petition today. Sign today's petition right now. Again, visit PrayInJesusName.org to sign our petition right now. Dr. Chaps needs your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray In Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll free right now at 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org.